All right. So, you know, it's it's funny. Every goddamn time I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to take a bit of a break from talking about SpongeBob, you know, do some other stuff. Then THQ announces another game. Thanks, man. All right, so SpongeBob SquarePants Rift Apart. It's coming out at some point, not for modern day consoles, for last gen. Great. All right, so uh, I woke up at 4.30 this morning to watch a trailer for SpongeBob Rift Apart. What is it actually called? The Cosmic Shake. Uh, And I was in a bit of a podcast with a bunch of other great YouTubers. It was an interesting time. So let's get into kind of opinions of the trailer. So first off, I think people are kind of jumping to opinions quite quickly. We don't really know anything. Firstly, I would like to say, though, I am much happier to get trailers like this than the trailer we got for Rehydrated, which was so... It wasn't bad. It was the fact that we didn't get anything more for, like, months that was the main problem. So it kind of comes into to two things for me with this the trailer. First of all, start it. Uh, of course, you know, I love Band Geek. I love Sweet Victory, all that type of stuff. But there is a point, and I don't know, maybe it's just because I'm that bit older now or anything like that, but SpongeBob's a a pretty incredible show in the fact that it's always reinventing itself, there's always new showrunners and all that type of stuff. Well, not always, but, you know, they, they change things up. They're always creating new stuff. I don't know why the games are so focused on those early years. Like, yes, those were the best years, but there has been other good SpongeBob songs. There's been other good SpongeBob moments. And just the focus on these things does feel a little bit like pandering sometimes. It does feel like, hey, 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 hey. you remember this good time? Yeah, what we've got in our game is it means, it means our game's going to be good as well. It's like, I reckon, uh, I know, probably unpopular opinion, but Hello Bikini Bottom, I'm fairly sure it's Hello Bikini Bottom. The song at the end of that, with SpongeBob on his ukulele and Clar- and um, Squidward on his clarinet. That's better than Sweet Victory, as far as I'm concerned. That is a real... Because it's actually, like, the SpongeBob character singing, and it's actually emotional, and it's just a really great song and a great moment. But these games will never talk about those moments, because that wasn't those weren't in the first three seasons, so why, why, why bother? I don't know. It feels a little pandering to me. But yeah, so we get a whole CGI trailer. It looks very much like Sponge on the Run, which I have my problems with. I don't like Sponge on the Run. Um, something is, though, I do prefer the look of this so far. I dislike the look of Rehydrated quite a bit. I don't like the style. And this looks closer to SpongeBob because it looks closer to the third movie, which looks closer to SpongeBob than uh, Rehydrated Relief. Basically, not, not Rehydrated Relief, Rehydrated. Basically, what I'm saying is there aren't grass textures. So far. Uh, other big thing is I'm really happy that Purple Lamp's back. I was a little bit concerned that they weren't going to come back or that Nikolai was just going to jump to the cheapest option at any given opportunity, which they usually do. They are absolute cheapskates. But I'm very glad that Purple Lamp's getting another chance to do this and to fine tune themselves a little bit, make a better product, you know, fine tune the engine. Please, for the love of God. Do better render distances, please. I don't want fog that's at my nose, please. Please. Something I am quite excited for this game, though, is the fact that we can really see whole new stuff. This isn't a remake. This doesn't need to follow the rules of Battle for Bikini Bottom. The only reason why I'm glad this isn't Battle for Bikini Bottom 2 or anything like that. It's a new game. It means we don't need to have sliding. Yeah, we can. Sliding is fun, but we don't need to. I don't need it. We can have completely different stuff. We don't need to have the bungee jump stuff. We can have something completely different. I don't need it. We could have driving segments again. That could be kind of fun. They can do so many different things. I'd love to see it, actually, some driving. Um, and that's the thing. is like This is very different from those other games, from the Heavy Iron games, which is great. This is a Purple Lamp game, after all. Like The fact that Patrick isn't playable. Sandy probably will be, considering they've done all the effort of modeling her with the karate stuff. Um, once again, because it's a different game, maybe there'll be a more, like, emphasis put on combat. That could be really cool, having actual, like, combos. That could be really cool, and different abilities, and being able to power up different abilities, that could be really cool. It's that freedom you get, and it's the reason why I've always wanted something new. That's why, as soon as Rehide Relief 
like 300 came out, everyone's talking about, oh, I want the movie game remade, I want you know, this game come out. It's like, we've played those games. We know those games. Give us something different. Give us something new. And this does feel like that, even though they are playing into the what's popular now, which is the Rift Apart stuff, and going through portals, and wow, it's just it's a night world. Wow, it's pumpkin... Downton Abbey or what? Downton Abbey? What the? And that's also the thing is because it's new and not a remake of a game that was coming out when, you know, the first three seasons of SpongeBob were coming out, you do actually have the ability to show modern locations. So, um, when I was on the stream, No Life pointed out that one of the cities looks like, I can't remember the name of it, the city that's in Gary Come Home. And a completely different style. And, oh no, it was the Spongebob, uh, what happened to Spongebob episode? I don't remember, man. It's been a while since I've rewatched Spongebob. Fake fan. But it allows you to have that freedom. And I really like to see, you know, uh, like, caveman Spongebob and all that type of stuff. I like that. And, you know, all that type of stuff and Pest of the West, later season stuff. I really like that. Personally, my favorite seasons are seasons five and six like those are my that's my favorite area and also nine seven and eight are a little rough but like the first half of nine and five and six because i love six because it's so like seinfeldy in its comedy style but yeah there's very little to go on just about everything is uh speculation trailer's quite good we seem to be fighting blob monsters that's giving me major globs of doom vibe which is I do actually quite like that game. It's a quite good game. It's it's better than most of the um, Nicktoons games. But yeah, and I'm actually quite happy because I'm not sure if other people, how many other people watch the entirety of the THQ Nordic event, but there were some cheapo looking games there. There were some rough looking things and there were some bad trailers as well. Like I'm sitting there four in the bloody morning like, oh, I don't care about MX racing and how you're a legend for playing MX racing. I don't care. The okay, Nickelodeon is cheap. They are cheap skates. They will put the minimum amount of money they can into this type of stuff. But it looks like they've actually been given a nice bit of money. There's some stuff going around about like the soundtrack and issues of that. I won't get into that now because I feel like I have to wait for some more stuff to you know, come out and for us to get actual details and information and all that type of stuff before I can make any actual statements on it because I don't want to say something that in three months is no longer correct. <laughs> That's the main thing. I don't want to have to re- <laughs> talk about something um but yeah there's also like multiple times in this tra trailer there's like a tin of mayo once again we don't always need to talk about seasons one two and three we don't always need to have references to those we can we can do other stuff and i don't mean just memes all right purple lamp cut it with the meme stuff it is the most patronizing thing ever please it's not it doesn't show that you like Spongebob more. It's just patronizing, okay? They're dead memes anyway. But yeah, I'm quite excited. I think it's really it's really cool that they're going in a very different direction and the Purple Lamp is being allowed to go in a different direction and I hope they're doing their own gameplay styles and all that type of stuff. They seem to be reaching with that with not having Patrick playable, most likely as he seems to be some type of balloon thing. It'd be kind of funny if it was like um, Super Mario 64 where Patrick was like the camera. Like with the guy, the little guy in the cloud in Super Mario 64. I don't remember his name. C Cooper? I don't know. Also, dumb thought. Probably entirely unrelated. But we see multiple times. We see Mrs. Puff a lot in this trailer. And we see her in her car. It could be kind of funny if Mrs. Puff was playable. But her segments were the driving segments because SpongeBob doesn't have his license. So in any of like the racing or driving segments, we're just SpongeBob's just sitting in the back and we're playing as Mrs. Puff driving around. Because they show her a lot in this trailer. Like they show her practically more than Sandy. Which is weird, because she's not in any way, shape, or form. She's barely even a B like a B list character. Like she's quite good. I'm not saying that she's a bad character, I'm just saying she very rarely shows up. Like Sandy is like main cast and then 
Mrs. Puff is in, well, like, you know, there's the main, main cast, which is SpongeBob, Patrick, Squidward. Then there's the A cast, which is Sandy and all those types of characters. And then there's the B cast, which is like Larry the Lobster, Mrs. Puff, that type of thing. I'm quite excited. I think it could be quite good. That's the reason why I'm making this. If, like, if it didn't interest me, I wasn't going to talk about it. But it is quite interesting. And I'm liking the fact that they're going out in a different direction and doing something different. If it was just uh, the movie game remastered, I, would, I wouldn't talk about it. I probably wouldn't buy it. But this does have my interest. And I'm just happy that we actually got a trailer and not just, Hey, it's coming! I swear. Hey. There's also something apparently it was on like Steam since March of 2020. I don't know about that. Maybe that was just them reserving the name because they copyrighted the name back then or something like that. But yeah, I'm excited. I think it could be quite interesting. Uh, please don't get carried away. One of the biggest problems was people getting carried away with Rehydrated and then disappointing themselves because it wasn't amazing. Don't get carried away. Measure your expectations, please. Just try and measure it just for now. Before we get more details, just measure your expectations. That'd be great. So that I don't need to be so worried about releasing a review to upset more people. Just measure your expectations. The answer to happiness is measured expectations. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>